Hello and welcome to a new episode and today as you can see we are hunting on Logger's Point finally and uh, I want to show you quickly what weapons we take with us um, as we do have uh, rather small animals on uh, Logger's Point so there is no really uh, big game animals so that means we can perfectly use the 270 bolt action rifle here so um, it's also I think it's fun to also sometimes use the uh, not so big caliber weapons or rifles and uh, we also do have uh, pheasants here so uh, I decided to take the side-by-side -side shotgun um, with um, ammunition and uh, yeah I have to say that I want to go to the clay shooting because uh, I really need to practice a little bit before um, actually um, hunting because uh, are we is this correct here? No. Where was it? Clay shooting, okay. Yeah, let's run. Yeah, I think um, <laughs> there is really some practice required for uh, clay shooting, uh, for uh, pheasant hunting, especially with the side by side. If you have the shotgun with the red dot scope, it might be a little bit different but uh, as we are doing the side-by-side -side shotgun uh, we should practice a little bit so I just tell you how this works you just step on one of these things here and uh, then you are on the shooting range and all the shots you are taking from here will not affect your statistics so uh, this is good to know um, it won't affect the statistics at all so for all you guys who really uh, want to keep the statistics clean and everything um, or as high as possible uh, don't worry uh, using the shooting range will not affect it okay so then we reload the gun first of course and now by pressing T uh, it will start to release two clays and then we can actually uh, practice a little bit okay I really do need some practice uh, yes I, <laughs> I think I better shut up now Oh, here we go. not easy to uh, make it double uh, at least <laughs> I hit sometimes I think I used to be much better on this here. Oof. Okay, 
Okay. Uh, I think that's enough. So, we are starting from the field lodge. And I think we will just spend the most time here in this area and maybe also check out the stand here. Um, well, or should we go this direction? No, I think we we will stay down here a bit. Yeah. So as always, I'm gonna be back when something happens. Okay guys, we are walking for quite a while now and uh, I just wanted to tell you that um, when you are on a pheasant hunt you can al always now and then check out if there is pheasants in the area just by calling so the pheasant will uh, answer a call most of the time so I use the pheasant caller mainly to check if there is any pheasant in the area so right now it doesn't seem to be like But uh, I just wanted to mention, ah, here we go, that this really is a good, uh, see, I know that there is a pheasant now, um, right where we are. <laughs> so without calling, I might not have even there. Okay, let's take him. So now also like with the clay shooting by pressing T, you uh, whistle and uh, make the the birds flush. So let's try it. Okay, that's too far. Yeah, that was not good. But uh, for pheasants. You have to be kind of, uh, yeah, I mean, this was too early to uh, flush the bird. Uh, I think I saw one of these uh, glues here and thought it might be the pheasant. <laughs> it's just really a dumb mistake. But anyways, I just wanted to show you how I used the pheasant collar. And... Uh, Maybe next time we will be more successful. Okay guys, I got another pheasant answering. Um, let's just check it out. I also uh, want to mention that the uh, time of the day I chose here was maybe not the best for pheasant hunting. Because uh, if you want to go only for a pheasant hunt, um, I recommend you hunting uh, not in the morning or evening. So you just uh, hunt whenever the light is best. But uh, we are not only hunting pheasant today, so I choose to go in the morning. But for pheasants, um, it doesn't matter what time of the day, they are always roaming. And for deer, uh, I'm quite sure uh, my experience is that they, they mostly roam in the mornings or evenings. Uh, in the midday it is much more likely that they will sleep somewhere so let's 
try to spot this one before we try to flush it so we don't make the same mistake again okay guys there is something around here I can hear footsteps and I'm not sure if it is the pheasant um, I also need to load the rifle just in case okay let's try to call the pheasant and I can actually see a pheasant here there he is okay so it's always good to first spot the pheasant before flushing and now I try to get really close there is a hawk actually let's check it out but I think Pheasant. Okay guys, just once more. He's right there. And I think he he just uh, duck into the deep grass here, so let's flush him. It's for a good position. Oh, oh. Let's flush him. Yes, we got him. Ooh. <laughs> I had the mouse on a really bad position here. <laughs> it was a little bit difficult. But yeah, anyways, we got him. So let's see. The score is 19.685 and A stands for Airborne Kill. Okay. Let's see if we can take a nice picture. It's not so easy. Now oh, let's do this, why not? Nice. The first pheasant of the day. And now let's just continue hunting. Okay guys. We got another call. And uh, just as long we are in this open area, I will uh, keep trying to hunt pheasant. And later on, that's why I also marked it here. I want also see here in this area if we not can find some mule deer. So let's hope it works. Okay, guys can see the pheasant now. There he is. So let's get close and let's try to get him. I was actually hoping we would see a whole group of them so we could uh, 
try and get a double. But it looks like he's on his own. Okay, that's how I do it. I get as close as possible. And then... He was on his own. Oh. I have to do it again. Um, this is actually a nice feature that we got. Uh, you can just um, stop the reloading process when you need to. This was not possible before the last update, so this is a good thing. Okay, let's check it out. 20.7 AA 88 I'm sorry Nice Okay Second pheasant Nice Um I was saying that we want to look for Muldi here, but um, I don't want to get uh, you guys to get me wrong, there's possibilities for Muldi all over the place actually. Um, so, and here we go, there is already a, um, a tracks of a male Muldi, so let's, uh, let's try to follow and hunt him down. <laughs> <laughs> 